Hello, everybody, and welcome to Total Extreme Wrestling 2020. Today, we're the series is called Rewriting the Business. We are starting in 1985, and I'm playing as the booker, not the owner. I wanted to give myself a challenge. I don't typically play as the booker, and if you know anything about me, then you know that this mod has a certain someone. I'm playing as Donald Trump, and I do want to warn you that this mod, I'm not using the correct picture pack for this mod, because I didn't like the picture pack for this mod, so I'm, so some of the pictures aren't, you know, they're not there, so that's fine, it'll be alright, um, hold on, as you can see here, hold on, yeah, see, as you can see here, some of the pictures aren't there, so that's fine. Ooh, I'm gonna bring in Buddy Rogers. He could be a manager for someone. That would be that'd be cool. Good old Buddy Rogers. That'll be nice. And so we're essentially gonna be restarting the WWE from the beginning. Uh, I've got some storylines. To go for the Royal Rumble. We are doing the Royal Rumble in 1985. Uh, we have Andre and Cowboy Bob Orton. Hulk Hogan defending the WWE Championship against Big John Studd. Uh, Dick Murdoch and Adrian Adonis defending the tag titles against Barry Windham and IRS, the U.S. Express. We have Wendy Richter defeating or defending the Women's Championship against Leila Nikai. The Royal Rumble, of course, which I just put Tony Atlas and Roddy Piper there for simplicity's sake. You have Jimmy Snuka and Paul Orndorff in a rivalry. We also have Greg Valentine and Hillbilly Jim in a rivalry. Uh, the titles, the WWE Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, the Women's Championship, and the tag titles. Um, I've also got some people. Uh, yeah, like I said, some of the pictures aren't here. Uh, we're bringing in some people. We've got quite a few people on, you know, just take a look at this. Uh, hopefully we can stretch out our tag division and our women's division because they are very, very thin right now. Um, if you have Buddy Rose, who is Buddy Rose? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know why I got Buddy Rose. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, events in TV, All-Star Wrestling, Primetime Wrestling. I changed this. This was some show that I don't remember. Uh, but we have the Royal Rumble uh, in the end of this month. So that's that's so we've got that to look forward to. Um, we are a medium size, which is essentially cult size. So we should be good. We should be ready for anything. Um, and we should have owner goals tomorrow. So let's skip to the next. Okay, so as you can see here, we now have some owner goals, but we also have a ton of rival bids. Uh, so Stan Hansen, UWF Japan, they want him. Uh, my, our offer is the only one he's considering. We have Jerry Lawler, who would be a good mid-carder or upper mid-carder. We're the only one he's considering. Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. Hennig? I thought it was Henning. Uh, okay, that's good. Bob Backlund. I actually have an idea what I want to do with Bob Backlund in the company. I actually want to do Bob Backlund versus Bruno San Martino at WrestleMania and do a nice passing of the torch. And we might even let Bob Backlund have another run with the title and have him have a match with Hulk Hogan eventually and have that, you know, pass the torch. Or we can even uh, build up Randy Savage because I, am, I did offer Randy Savage a contract, and I do want to build the company around him rather than Hulk Hogan. But for right now, we need to build a company around Hogan because he's our guy. He's the biggest name in the company right now. Jake Roberts. Okay, it doesn't seem like Buddy Rod. It doesn't seem like anyone's, you know, going to outbid us with some of these people. Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter and Larry Zabisco, I couldn't hire them because Vince has a problem with them. 
So hopefully one day, hopefully one day we can hire them. Now let's take a look at our owner goals. When the time expires, WWE must not have fallen below number one in company rankings. Hopefully we don't fuck that up. The financial balance of must have improved to at least 1.25 million. Okay. Where'd our money go? I don't remember spending anything. Weird. Andre must have kept above 71. Roddy, Hogan. So these are the three we're going to be building the company around. You cannot hire or extend the contractor who has known reformed workers do not count. You can't hire any wrestler over the age of 42, and you can't hire any wrestler who is classed as having a brawler style. Okay, that's going to be tough, especially age 42. Okay, but that's average important, so I'm not really going to bother with this all that much. Okay, so we have a show, a beat show, all-star wrestling. So, we got quite a few people on our we can't hire a lot of people that's interesting okay so we have some backstage incidents incident involving the fabulous moolah and leilani kai oh god being obnoxious fabulous oh my lord okay it was just a heated argument i'm gonna give stern warning stop being a bitch you understand me okay we have our first show booked uh, for WWE All-Star Wrestling. We start out the show with a 95 rating with Roddy Piper. He's coming out talking some mad shit about the crowd. Saying that he's going to go on and win the Royal Rumble. This new big thing. He's the favorite going in. And he's going to go to WrestleMania. And defeat whoever the WWE Champion is. Whether it's Hulk Hogan or whoever else. So, 95 rating. Nice. Next up, we have a 54 rated match between Barry Windham and Adrian Adonis. Uh, Adonis having the better rating. Barry Windham defeating Adrian Adonis with a flying lariat. Good stuff. We have a 52 rated match between Tito Santana and Brutus Beefcake. Tito Santana defeating Brutus Beefcake with a four, figure four leg lock. Nice. Our main event, Andre the Giant versus Don Morocco. 67 rated match. Andre having the better performance. Mr. Fuji did some good work at ringside. Look at that. So, I set this as a wild brawl. Looks like it did pretty well. Next. And we had an 80 rated segment where Cowboy Bob Warren came out with his, like, with, like, a weapon or something. Maybe a bull rope and he just smacks the piss out of Andre beating him down. So... Cowboy Bob Wharton gets a leg up over Andre. And we have a 70 rated show. So there we go. We had a pretty good show. Looks like we have some hirings right now. Uh, Dave Finley. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't look at them all. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we have some rival bid, Lola Gonzalez. I did get a bunch of Japanese women to, you know, make our division a lot more thick to make our div women's division a lot more thick what damn it new japan uh i like dynamite kid though i didn't know this why bruiser brody new japan wants bruiser brody this is gonna be tough well oh wait Signing him would break one of my owner, owner girls, so we're not going to hire him. Plus, I don't know, you know, Terry Funk, 40, he's a brawler, can't hire him, but we're going to shortlist him because he would be useful in the future. Ron Garvin, okay, we can hire him, we can hire him. Isn't he part of the Freebirds? Okay, the Von Eriks, we need them regardless of what they're, what they are. You're all for... Okay. The Von Eriks would be pretty freaking helpful to our tag division. They would. You can't lie. They would be great. Okay, now let's take a look at our... Uh, who did we get? Okay, we have Bull Nakano. 
you know, adapting to... Let's see, do we have a picture? Yes, we do. We have Bolnacano. So, Bolnacano, we have now have another woman to add to our division. Uh, Dave Finley. Uh, Fit Finley. Oh, awesome. We now have Fit Finley in our division, a great mid Carter. See, we have Devil Masami, another heel woman. I. Okay, I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. Something pretty funny. They don't have a picture for Trump. However, hold on. Where, where, where? Hold on. They have a picture of George Bush. <laughs> I'm just... They have a picture of fucking George Bush, but not Donald Trump. That is great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there's there's no picture of George Scott. I'm gonna have to get a picture of him. Also, I changed Mike Rotunda to IRS. By the way, we have Itsuki Yamazaki. We have another babyface to our roster. Uh, Jackie Sato, another babyface woman. Uh, let's see. Uh, are these two a tag team? Uh, yeah, they are. Oh, I thought we got more people than that. Okay. Hmm. I guess I was wrong. We didn't get that many people. I thought we did. Never mind. Okay, so we don't. We didn't get. Oh, let me take a look at the teams. Okay, the Moon Dogs. So when I first did this as a test run, I actually got rid of one of the Moon Dogs. I think it was Moon Dog Rex, which it was a mistake. I need to keep the uh, Moon Dogs together because our tag division is so small. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So here is who I've got. Uh, let's see. Do we have Butch Miller? Yeah, we do. We have the head bangers or head whackers, whatever you call them. So we've got them. Wait, is Jim Ross available? We need to see if Jim Ross is available. Yes, Jim Ross is available. We need to get Jim Ross. Let's see. Uh, Jim Cornette. Let's grab Jim Cornette, obviously. Jim Cornette's amazing. We'll have an amazing uh, commentary booth. Jim Duggan. Oh, fuck. We can't get Jim Duggan. That's annoying. Okay, shortlist them. Jerry Briscoe, I think. Yeah, that's Gerald Briscoe. Okay, so uh, before we get into primetime wrestling, our, or, you know, as we keep going, we will we'll get obviously get more people here. If there are someone that you want me to sign or look to see if they are here, uh, tell me down in the comments below. And I'll get them. I am. This is a cooperative series, so there's. There you go. Okay, let's take a look at our newest signings. We got Mr. Perfect, the British Bulldog, Jaguar Yakota, Jake the Snake Roberts, Lola Gonzalez, Mimi Hagiwara, Norio Tatino, and, Ro and Rose and Rossi Marino. She is actually Hispanic, not Japanese. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I think Asian women are just amazing. They're hot. <laughs> you guys are like, man, like, this this guy is weirder than I thought. Like, yes, I am very strange, I know, but, like, they are. They're very attractive. And I'm doing my best to uh, make that sound not creepy, but I feel like I'm failing. So we got Mr. Perfect, the British Bulldog. Let's see. I'm just going through and getting a bunch of pictures. Nothing, nothing too interesting. Um, Jake Roberts. Which one's the better picture? I like this one. Jake Roberts would be an, a phenomenal mid card talent. Hmm.
Okay. Now I'm going to go to my announcers and, okay, only show. We have Gorilla Monsoon. Let's add Vince McMahon. That will be good. For primetime wrestling, we have McMahon and San Martino. Let's do Bobby Heenan. And... Jesse Ventura. For... We need someone who's good at announcing, though. Okay. So we'll do Bobby Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon. And then for this one, is there someone else? Okay, we'll do McMahon and Ventura for All-Star Wrestling. Okay, I think that is um, pretty good. I think that is good. I don't... Uh, I don't want to do Bruno San Martino. That's a thing. So we'll use Bobby Heenan temporarily. Just temporarily. And... That hopefully nothing bites us in the rear end. Drug testing. Uh, we need to do low level. Save settings. Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna, like, that's gonna bite me in the ass because we know that there is a bunch of people doing fucking steroids. Okay, so Luke Williams. Uh. Okay. We need him and Butch Miller. Because that would be... Okay, We, I'm not going to shortlist Bruiser Brody because I really don't want him. Ivan Koloff, we can put him with Nikita Koloff. Or uh, Volkov. And those two could be a team. And he is a former WWE champion. It's a, We can use him as an upper mid-carder. Uh, Jim Duggan. We can use... Aw, uh, oh, motherfucker. I forgot. <laughs> House show held. We drew in $2,538 in ticket sales. Nice. Okay, so uh, I need some advice. How do I make this go up? <laughs> I need to know. All right, so be right back for either future hirings or a show. All right, more hirings. Okay, Jim Ross, Buddy Rose, Ted DiBiase, Bob Backlund. Hercules Hernandez, Ivan Koloff, Jerry Lawler, Jim Neidhart, Jimmy Garvin, Luke Williams, Mil Mascaris, War Road Warrior Hawk, Stan Hansen, and Buddy Rogers all have signed a contract with us. Okay, so we have some backstage incidents. Buddy Rogers and the Brooklyn Brawler. Holy crap! So Buddy Rogers says, you know what, Brooklyn Brawler? You're going to be my guy. You're going to be the guy. So... I was going to have Brooklyn Brawler be like a lower mid-carder, so we might need to bump him up to mid-carder now that Buddy Rogers takes a liking to him. That's very interesting. All right, we have our primetime wrestling show booked. We have four pre-show matches. All of them are women's matches because most of them are unimportant to the fans, and so we have to build up their popularity. So this is the way I'm doing it. So we have a 40 rated, rated pre-show match between Norio Tatino and the Fabulous Moolah. The Fabulous Moolah wins. Uh, she wouldn't have wanted it any other way, and I need to build her up. Uh, these two don't click, so that doesn't help. Uh, good match, though. Good match. Next up, Mimi Hagiwara versus Judy Martin. Of course, Judy Martin having the better score, though Mimi Hagiwara um, doing, winning the match. Uh, her idol gimmick, it's awful. Great. Next up, Lola Gonzalez versus Rosie Marino. Pretty bad match. Uh, both of their gimmicks do pretty well. The Lola Gonzalez wins this match with a powerbomb. Uh, final pre-show match, 30 rated. Uh, Jaguar Yokota wins. These two don't click. That's great. Jaguar Yokota's gimmick is poor. Uh, the double arm pile driver. Okay, we start the show off. Bobby Keenan and Big John Studd come out to the ring, and they call out Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan comes out, and they and Big John Studd, he wants a match against the Hulkster at the Royal Rumble. Hogan accepts and says, I can't wait to beat your ass, brother. So, 
Gorilla Monsoon was pretty weak. That's not good. Not good at all. 87 rated, though, builds up this match. And Big John Studd says he wants a match tonight, a tag team match. And he says he gets a partner, Hogan gets a partner, sets up a tag match as the main event. Next up, 60 rated match between Gerald Briscoe and the returning Bob Backlund. Bob Backlund wins with the cross face chicken wing, defeating Gerald Briscoe. Uh, this is part of the Royal Rumble storyline. 60 rated match. And now we have a 64 rated match between Jimmy Snuka and Paul Orndorff. Jimmy Snuka beats Paul Orndorff with a roll up, 1 2 3. And Jimmy Snuka wins the match. And Paul Orndorff looks pissed afterwards. And thus he beats the absolute piss out of Jimmy Snuka afterwards, setting up this rivalry for the Royal Rumble. Next up, we have Dick Murdoch versus IRS. IRS wins this match, 59 rated sec, 59 rated match. IRS doing more poorly than Dick Murdoch. Next up, we have Tito Santana versus Roddy Piper. 75 rated match, a pretty good match. Roddy Piper doing heads and shoulders better than Tito Santana. Oof, 84. Next up, we have a backstage segment between Gene, Mean Gene Okerlund and Cowboy Bob Orton. And Mean Gene's asking, why did you attack Andre at All-Star Wrestling? Why did you do it? And Cowboy's like, I went out there and to make a statement. And you're damn right I feel good about what I did. And I'd do it again in a heartbeat. 71 rating. Next up, a fatal four-way match. 41 rating. That's pretty good. Leilani Kai carrying the freaking match. Uh, though it's pretty good. Honestly, for, you know, all the performances, though, she, def Leonie Kai defeats her opponents to win the number one contenders match against Wendy Richter at the Royal Rumble. Next up, we have a backstage segment. Greg Valentine's just chilling. And then Hill Billy Jim comes out and says, hey, buddy, you think I could get a title match? You know, being weird, but kind of funny at the same time. There are kittens just in the living room playing and it's adorable. And so... That kind of begins this storyline. And now we have the main event. Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage versus Big John Studd and Don Morocco. Of course, Savage and Hogan wins. 73 rated main event. I think the best match on the card, if I'm not mistaken. Hogan. What's Hogan's rating? 80. Oof, I, think, I know who I'm going to have win the Rumble, and I'm sure you guys do as well. But the main event's going to hopefully be good. Hopefully. 74 rated show. This show increased our popularity in 18 regions. That's some good stuff right there. Was that our best match? No, Piper and Santana did a bit better. They did a bit better. All right, before I end this episode, I want to do something. Okay, I'm going to replace Bobby Hinnon with Jim Ross and Jim Cornette as well. And for All-Star Wrestling, we're going to add... Jim Cornette over here. Okay, so this sh seems like a good lineup. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas for this series, who do you think I should grab? Who do you think I should push? Tell me down in the comments below. This is the cat one saying, peace.